concept of driven motion, which consists in imposing the time evolution of the joint coordinates Q. By motion, we mean the position, velocity and acceleration that must be kinematically consistent. Let's illustrate this concept via the two following examples for which some joint coordinates obey a prescribed motion. The first example is the merry-go-round, presented in module 1, for which the rotation of the central mast is perfectly known. For instance, with a constant angular velocity omega, applied by a perfect motor. The second example is the steering of a car, for which the steering wheel rotation angle theta is kinematically driven by the pilot. These are typical examples of driven motion. How to introduce a driven coordinate in a joint eye? Simply by providing its time evolution at the position level at the velocity level and at the acceleration level. For example, for the merry-go-round turning with a constant velocity, Q dot will be equal to omega. Q dot dot will be equal to zero and Q will be equal to omega times the time, the current time, minus the initial time. In terms of notation, how to distinguish a driven coordinate from the other ones? Simply by adding to these coordinates the subscript C for command. For the other ones, the subscript U will be used from now on. And thus, the coordinates Q will be now partitioned into the Q U, which will be time integrated, and the Q C, for which you have described the motion. Given the reference configuration, for which all the joint coordinates are zero, there are specific cases that cannot satisfy this requirement. The bicycle is the best example. Indeed, its front fork is angled at an angle alpha with respect to the bike frame. So the two frames associated with these two bodies, the bike frame and the front fork, are angled with this angle alpha, which is not compatible with the reference configuration. Thus, the trick is to insert between these two bodies a driven joint QC to take into account this angle alpha, which will be minus alpha according to the frame definitions, and the derivatives will be equal to zero. Commonly, this specific case is denoted as a locked driven joint. Let's formulate the equations of motion. As a reminder, if there is no driven joint, they read mass matrix times q dot dot plus vector c equal to vector q. But if some joints are driven, let's say, for example, the joints number 2 and joint number 6, then, as previously said, the generalized coordinates Q will be partitioned with QU, QC. And the equations of motion will be partitioned accordingly. That is to say,
For the mass matrix, we will have MUU, MUC, MCU, MCC. For the accelerations, Q dot dot U, Q dot dot C. The vector C and the vector Q. In these equations, the unknowns are Q dot dot U, which can be computed from the first set of equations and time integrated as previously. And from the second set of equations, one can compute QC that corresponds to the efforts associated with the driven joint. This will be developed further when we will explain the inverse dynamics. 